What's good YouTube? I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to do another live trading video and just to take you guys through my thought process while trading and stuff and you guys get to watch it live. So it has been a while. It's been like three weeks since I posted my last video. I was sick and decided to take a little bit of a break and I am busy writing exams. So I just decided to take a small break, but we are back now. I am only trading one day this week because monday was a bank holiday on every pair and then today we're trading wednesdays i don't trade thursday we might trade i'm not sure because i have an exam during new york session for me so i might not trade and then friday is nfp day so just gonna see what happens but we're trading today so yeah me and this guy, other guy called Juicy, we have decided to come together and we have created a Discord. It is completely free. We don't want anything from you guys. So make sure you guys do join. We hop on calls every time we trade New York session. And some people do trade London, which you can hop on calls with them. But yeah, make sure you guys do join completely free. We don't want anything from you guys. So yeah, let's just get into see what happens today. If it doesn't do some stupid shit right now, I think I'm gonna get in GG. <clears throat> I'm about to get into GG if it gets break. Yeah, it's about to get break now. Just waiting on GG. Just waiting for it. G also broke. I'm in on GJ. Okay, that is our one to one, and we should let play our New York openers in three minutes. So we are taking it through, and then there is news in half an hour as well. So, yeah. Okay, we are getting close to 101, so stops are now at break even, and we should let it hit TP. demand there's a demand that i'm gonna let it show at the demand for a bit but if it's not gonna respect the demand i'm just gonna take the little bit of a loss okay right now we're gonna just let uh gj it's gonna about to tap into a demand but if you don't respect this demand i'm just gonna get out take it as a loss even though it was such a clean trade right by tp how many pips was it, it was like five pips from less 4.7 pips from tp so if it doesn't respect this demand then yeah i'm just gonna close with a little bit of a loss stream i mean the recording just cut out a bit but we did come down into tapping entry i was saying so much stuff but it cut out okay let me just go over 
So we came down into entry, tapping, or not actually tapping, but there is a demand right here. News is in 10 minutes right now, so I'm gonna put stops underneath the demand right here. If it doesn't respect that, then I get stopped. I'll take a little bit of loss, but we got TP the same. So I'm just gonna set everything so it's automatic. So if the news just comes out and wicks down, then I get stopped out. But yeah, I don't know if you guys know Doyle. If you guys follow him, he took the same setup. He got entry at this candle right here, which is kind of annoying. So he won because he had that marked out. So he won. I'm still in here, but I'm gonna hold through news, see what happens. Just waiting for it. We got these gaps to get filled in right here. So yeah. What are you what, what are you what are you looking at? NASA's I mean EU's what? What? Oh that one there, that one. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. I mean if EU's bullish, GJ's gonna be bullish. It means GU's also gonna be bullish. It means NAS is probably gonna do the opposite of what everything else is doing. about to hit, hit stop i'm about to hit stop wait 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 Whoa, what's going what's happening what's happening <laughs> i'm still in wait i think i'm about to close i think i'm about to close Wait, come on, come on, GG, come on. Nah, bro, nah, nah, I, I closed two positions. Wait, it's about to actually a TP. Nah, I'm, I'ma just take it. Okay, I just took, I took GJ's W. I'm not even gonna complain. It went all the way back into like 1%, well, it was like a, up 100, so I'm not even gonna be mad. I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna fill in the gaps, but I, it's news. I'm not gonna risk it. I just took took what I can. So let me quickly just do a trade breakdown of what happened and just explain uh, what I saw and what I took. So I didn't hold till the full 101 because it was news. I got out somewhere up here. It was like a $93 loss. I'll put it on screen. I mean, when it was $93 win, put it on screen as well. So let's just delete all of this and just go through what I saw. So let's hit replay. So if you look at replay, we have a liquidity grab right, right now happening. So we have got money sitting right underneath here. Then the market came down, swept all of this with this wick here. And then I was like, break it, this candle up here and I'm gonna get in. And then that's literally what happened. If you guys do know Doyle Exchange, he got in a break of this candle like this, and then it stops underneath. But yeah, I didn't. I, I waited for that break, and then just took it right to one to one. And then today was bullish. We are almost like tapping onto the 200 EMA. So yeah. We bullish on the 15 minute and then um, we were bullish on the one hour so that's what gave the, the confirmation and then we had gaps sitting up top here that needed to be filled so this is the candle i entered got in right there at break and then pushed up a lot was so close to hitting tp and then reversed came all the way to entry and then this was new next candle was news and I got out somewhere. I got out like there, like something like that up there. And then, yeah, could have held, if I just held like 15 more seconds would have hit full TP, but it was news, anything could have happened. So I'm not even mad, I'm just gonna take it for today, but then it literally just reversed right after. Okay, yeah, reversed right after. So yeah, I'm done for today and i'll see you guys soon make sure you guys keep back testing keep grinding and keep working hard because we're all going to succeed just keep keep just keep going <laughs>